Hello and welcome to a short example of how you could use MSC Apex to speed up the preparation of models or the pre-preparation of models for MSC Mark Mentat. So I shall just import some geometry um, and then talk you through what I intend to do. So I have this, this, this little assembly here. So what we're looking at is a rigid plate. Um, you have a steel uh, knob um, with some detents on it um, and a rubber uh, cover that would slip over it and engage on the detents in the, the little uh, recesses there. So to do this, um, first thing I'm going to do is a little bit of model organisation. You see they've all come in in the same part, so I'm going to add two more parts and just move these over. So that top part there is my plate that I'm just going to use as a rigid in mark to push against. This part is my rubber piece and this part is the steel knob. So there's a couple of things I need to do. First thing I need to do is move the steel knob out down so that it is, um, I, I can insert it and move it up. If I, if I come down by 10 millimetres minus 10 millimetres, like that. Um, my, my little detents will not be engaged. You can just see them through there. Um, and as I push that into place, it will latch and engage. Um, I also don't want this as a solid. What I actually want is just the surfaces to use for a rigid. So I can very quickly, um, with the split surfaces tool here, pick that face and the delete button, and it will break that to a a uh, set of surfaces and then I can do the same thing with the plate that I'm going to ultimately use to push those things down. So I'm now ready to start addressing um, the rubber part itself. So if I show that only, um, putting a hex mesh on here so I can take advantage of the, the Hermann formulation hex elements in Mark to give me um, lower memory use uh, while still retaining good performance for the rubber material. I'm going to need to um, get rid of first these little fillet radii. You see I've got a traffic light system um, that shows this as red as unhex meshable. So the first thing I'm going to do is going to go and defeature this. Um, and you can see the automatic defeaturing highlights everything it considers to be a fillet radius. Now I want to get rid of these ones, but not those ones. So I can add a little break onto my, my contour pattern here, pick those ones, middle mouse button, and they're gone. So it's still um, highlighted red, um, but I can go in and I can use the splitting tool. Um, so splitting using planes, um, and actually partition a single solid rather than split into multiple solids. So I pick my solid, I pick the plane I want to split at, and a middle mouse. And you can see the traffic light now indicates that um, this the, the, the top face of the knob there is hex meshable. Change my definition, pick that one again, and then I need to pick basically one two, three points, the middle mouse again, and now the whole part is green, which means I'm, uh, I'm ready to go to produce this as a, a hex mesh. So I go into the mesh, the hex measure, the two and a half D measure. I'm going to use three millimeter elements on this one. So I pick that and Apex puts quite a nice hexahedral mesh on that. Um, so what I need to transfer out to Mentat is the surfaces. So if I just show all here, I want to show, take that, that, and the mesh. So I can right click and export that as a surface, and I can right click and export that as a surface. And these go out as parasolids. Um, and then the mesh, I can export that. Um, it only supports Nastran bulk data format, but luckily Mentec can read that very easily. So I can just export that, um, but what I've done to, to speed things up yet further is I've used the application settings here 
which allow me to um, do some customization. So I've got it set up. So once when I export a FEM here, it runs a little Python script that automatically um, opens Mentat and reads that file in. So if I now go and export that, just leave a default name, uh, set the units, millimeter, ton, second, Newton, Kelvin, and hit export. You can see that my mesh has imported. I can now go and I can import the surfaces. So it was surface six, which I can import there, and I can import um, parasolid, and I can import surface five as well. And I'm now ready to apply a material to find my contacts, my load cases and job, and off I go, where the, the, the hard part, sometimes in Mentat, has been done, which is the meshing. So. Thank you very much.